Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Money Podcast, your source for all things money. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Jane Bond on the line, and she's a broker associate over at the Bond Group. She's author of How to Land Your First Million Dollar Listing and Become a Top Agent in Your Market. And she's also a podcast host um, over at From Execution to Excellence. So um, first off, Jane, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Adam. I'm honored to be on the show. Thank you for asking. So um, let's, I do want to get into your upcoming book and also talk a little bit more about your podcast. But before we do that, tell us a little bit more about what you're doing over at the Bond Group, please. Well, I've been a real estate agent here in Naples, Florida for about 10 years, and I service a lot of high-end clients. It didn't start out that way, of course. Um, <laughs> I used to sell properties from 135,000, maybe even 90,000, if I recall, and now up to 20 million. And um, that's what we do. We service high-end clients from all over the world and uh, put through acquisitions for them with uh, real estate here in Naples, Florida. Awesome. Um, and I think that's a great transition. So let's get a little bit further into your upcoming book. So how to land your first million dollar listing and become a top agent in your market. Um, what was the inspiration behind this? Well, you know, I run into and speak with a lot of aspiring agents, you know, seasoned agents, agents that want to, what they say, quote, unquote, break into the high end market, the luxury market. And i that was my inspiration pretty much to write a book to share with them how I did it on my terms from A to Z and starting out crawling before I could walk, of course. And that was the what huge are, for me. What are um, some, of the, uh, some of the big takeaways that people reading this book can expect to walk away with? Um, I would say to stay the course, stay committed, understand what your big why is because that is a huge motivator. And, you know, your your passion has to be strong because mm -hmm. this is this business, this business of real estate, especially luxury real estate, you know, it's not for everyone. You're dealing with customers that are used to getting exactly what they want and deal with professionals on a very high level. And they want to deal with winners, people that understand that when you come into play in their sandbox, you must bring your own toys, so to speak. Mm, that's interesting. Um, and so what? tell us just a little bit more about kind of that journey, because you, you mentioned, um, you know, starting, you know, um, to crawl before you can walk. I think I think what you bring up a good point in terms of the uh, the type of real estate agent or person that wants to break into the industry that's going to pick up this book. So give us a little bit more about your journey, please. Well, a little more uh, insight into my journey is, uh, let me share this with you. I, when I started in real estate, I had no idea uh, what I was getting myself into in Naples, Florida. I had my license in New York City, and I understood that market, but this was totally um, alien to me. I had no idea anything about golf course communities, anything about waterfront communities, um, you know, boating, uh, golfing, any of those things. That's not something I did, you know, growing up or as an adult living in the city. Um, and when I found myself here in Naples and decided I wanted to go back into real estate here, it was a true journey for me and an education period. And um, the market had just crashed. People were angry. But I understood that what goes down must, comes up, must come up. And I was going to capitalize on that. However, I had to educate myself on several things before um, embarking on the luxury part of my career. And, you know, people, like I said, people were angry. The homes were in shambles. People were, you know, doing things to their property that you, I'd never seen before. And we had to go in and sell it. So when I talk about that journey, I talk about dealing with people that were going through heartbreak and turmoil at the time because of the market crash. And we had to be there for them and understand uh, their emotions, and that's where your your emotional 
intelligence has to come into play to learn how to deal with people. And, you know, like I said, you deal with people from all walks of life, all income levels. And in Naples, Naples is an area that, you know, we have wealthy people from everywhere here. We have titans that have come here and laid their hats down to retire. And they're used to professionals. So I had to come up to par with that to be able to deal with these people on their level and understand who they were, where they came from, um, their lifestyle, what they were accustomed to, the professionalism, you know, and, and being able to handle deals that I had never handled before of major money. When I And I'm talking anywhere from $2 million to $20 million to $30 million. And being able to sit at the table and negotiate that for them. And, have, and then I had to realize when the buyer was in the house. So these are all the things you have to educate yourself on and be knowledgeable about and be worldly. You know, all of that comes into play. So for me, it was a culmination of all the careers I've had in my life that had merged onto one. And I was able to utilize that to keep me moving forward. And my big why, which sounds pretty cliche to a lot of people, is, you know, I had a huge motivator behind me because I had a mother who needed me financially, and that was my drive. I had no other choice. There was no turning back for me once I was on my way. So that's, that's awesome. what the book is about. It's about inspiring agents, uh making them really take a deep look into themselves and understand if they really want to be successful in this climate, in this climate, in this uh, career, it takes a lot of commitment, of blood, sweat, and tears, of education, negotiating, being able to network, understanding who you're dealing with. These people are people that have achieved high accolades in their lives, and they want to be recognized for it. And if you don't know how to deal with that emotionally when you are in front of them and articulate what your, what your plans are to sell or purchase them the home they are looking for, then you have just knocked yourself out of the ballpark. Mm -hmm. So the book is not only informational, it's inspirational. And that's Fantastic. what I give back to the agents, the agents that are coming behind me. My job is to pass that baton and not hoard the information because someone taught me. That's awesome. So, Jane, um, so final couple questions. So, number one, um, I, I've been great talking to you. I'm excited for this book to come out. Um, number one, oh, how, do people, <laughs> how do people um, get in touch with uh, the Bond Group and learn more about the book when it's released? And also, um, how do people follow your podcast, too? So I want, I want to make sure we leave some contact info and, and some ways for people to follow and also listen to your, your work. Oh, absolutely. They can find me on Instagram at Jane Bond underscore underscore underscore. And they can find the podcast from Execution to Excellence on iTunes. Fantastic. Well, Very Jane, it's been great. <laughs> Great having you on the show. Looking forward to um, to hearing more about you and the book coming out. And uh, and to my listeners, definitely go check out that uh, that podcast from Execution to Excellence. Um, great stuff there. Uh, and uh, don't forget, if you're listening for the first time, de definitely give us a subscribe. I'd uh, love for you to come back and listen to some more. Um, hope you got a lot of value out of this. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Money, definitely give that a subscribe uh, and leave us some comments in the video. I mean, love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And Jane, thanks again for coming on the show.